Guatemala, a strange and beautiful country many thousands of miles away. A country with lofty snow-crested mountains, mighty rivers and deep lakes, quaint little villages and picturesque natives. This is Guatemala on the surface, what a tourist might see if a tourist could ever get there. But under this superficial beauty lie many unsuspected dangers. Those mighty rivers run through treacherous jungle where wild animal life lurks in the shadows. Man-eating lions roam abroad. The deep lakes are infested with crocodile and alligators. And the natives may look picturesque, but are deadly to a white man. In the heart of this impenetrable jungle stand the ruins of all that is left of an ancient Mayan civilization. Older fire than Guatemala. The natives today are in great anger. Their ancient idol, the green goddess, has been snatched from the high altar. The high priest vows to avenge by a slow and torturing death, the violator and desecrator of the sacred cathedral. But unknown to the natives, unknown even to the high priest, this stolen idol is more than a graven image. For hidden inside it is a secret formula for a new explosive powerful and deadly enough to blow whole cities sky high. A potential menace to modern civilization and a real menace should the formula fall into unscrupulous hands. Tarzan and his band of intrepid followers, both men and women, have faced untold dangers. Wild animals, hostile natives, a rival expedition of murderous crooks and the horrors of fever infested swamps to take the idol from the natives that the secret formula might be safe. At last successful, with the goddess in their possession, the Tarzan expedition starts on its long and arduous journey home. Everything's checked, Major Marling. Splendid. Well, I hope you have a nice trip to Livingston. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. And good luck. Miss Vail? Goodbye. Goodbye, Tarzan. Goodbye, old man. Goodbye, George. Goodbye. Nothing to do now, but go home, sir. Right, George. Homeward bound at last. To the green goddess. And our mission fulfilled, Martling. Yes. Thanks to you, old man. Our only remaining task is the safe return of this relic to civilization. Well, shall we proceed? Surely. Right. I'll get Nakima and follow. Come on. Get your bearers ready. Put your best man on this. Senior powers here. I'm Raglan. Dead city and the goddess. The goddess, eh? Well, where is it? Well, it was in my hands when. Uh... Oh, never mind the excuses. Where is the idol now? Uh, the uh, Martling expedition has it. So the Martling expedition has it, eh? Colonel Blunder, do you realize what your mistake means? We've lost a fortune. That green goddess contained the formula of the ancient Mayan explosive. Any nation would give millions to get it, millions. Well, I'd like to see you got it from that ape man. The ape man? Do you mean Tarzan? I wonder if you know what it means to be in the jungles with him on your trail. Any moment a ladder to drop down out of a tree, lurking in the very shadows, his hands almost touching your throat. Why, I tell you, man, I was lucky to get out of there with my life, let alone any goddess. The 
Look here, Raglan. We still have a chance. I leave at once for the East Coast. I'll have Simon Blade meet you with his ship at Livingston. Now, there's only one trail leading to the Rio Dulce, and the Martling expedition will have to travel on it to get to the river. Yeah. Now, what's to prevent you? You've got men hidden on both sides of the ravine. Si, senor. Good. Espera. I wish Tarzan wouldn't lag behind us like this. Maybe something's happened to him. Ridiculous. What would happen to Tarzan? You never can tell. Suppose, uh, suppose some of those monsters from the dead city has followed us. Well, you know, they may be right. Don't be silly, George. There isn't anything to fear any longer. You'll have to get that code book from Martling. You watch the goddess while I see what I can do. The goddess, it's gone. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you that the old fellas from the ruins would be on our trail? Whoever stole the goddess had no connection with the dead city, George. Well, whom do you suspect then? It wouldn't surprise me if it were Raglan. What about the document? Thank heaven they didn't get it. The code is no good without the goddess. 
Without this document, the thief dare not open the goddess. He'd be blown to atoms by the secret explosive it contained. Then there's still a chance to recover the goddess. Have the porters make camp. Tomas, prepare camp here. Berkeley, what happened? Right. Take your time, Martin. It was Ragley. The book, gone. You two men go to Manteep and send that message from the radio office. If all goes well, I'll meet you at Port Avarius. Let me see what's bothering you. Well, no wonder you're limping. All right, I'll have it out in a moment. There it is.
Twelve? What about Raglan? Did you see him? Raglan caught the boat before the barrier. I'm sorry to have failed, Martling. But if we get to start for the river at once, we can signal the next boat and catch Raglan there. We'll break camp at once. Our better plan would be to search the cantinas. Raglan would most likely hide at some out-of-the-way place. Let's split here. I'll go through this neighborhood, and you can search the other parts of town. Linda, I have to go to the cable office anyhow. I'd like to go along with you, Major, if I may. Certainly, my dear. the meaning of this. Well, you see, sir, uh, I sat down on that bench with the best of intentions. But this guy insisted that I see Portobarius. And besides, he had my yo-yo. Come on. 
Yes, sir. No. Ended, Markling. What do you mean? Raglan was on that balcony just a moment ago. What are you going to do? Jungle tracking for me. I'd like to see Mr. Raglan. There is no one here by that name. You may use another name. I've already told you he is not here. Very well. We'll wait for him. Badly, old man. Gee, I'd think all your bones would be broken. <laughs> I'm all right, George. Well, then, what happened? I found Raglan in a room up there and attempted to get the idol, but... Listen, you get some native bears, and we'll meet you at the south end of town. All right, Chief. We can certainly be thankful we recovered the code. Yes. But if I hadn't been so impulsive, we might have the goddess too. What is it? It's a clue to Raglan's root and plans. Look. Let us find some bears and start at once. We must stop them before he meets the others. Here, you better take care of this. Say, what's the idea, Chief? What's your hurry? Tarzan, he might be on our trail. Not a chance. Not after falling off that balcony, he wouldn't. He must have broken his neck. Not Tarzan. He's got more lives than the jungle animals he plays with. You wait back there for me. If Tarzan comes, you'll be needing all the men. Don't worry, we'll handle him. 
All right, boys. Say, I wonder if the chief is right about Tarzan being on our trail. Ah, oh, that chief is crazy. I tell you, that guy Tarzan is as dead as a mackerel. You asking me?
We were just obeying orders. Come here. Where's Raglan? On the head somewhere. He didn't want anyone to know where he hit the goddess. All right. Get out of here, both of you. And don't stop till you get to Fort Aberius. Lost the trail, George. Maybe he's hiding somewhere, trying to open the goddess. Franklin, Emmanuel may be following him. You go that way, George, and see if his train leaves the river. I'll scout along the top of the bank. Yes, sir. No. He lost his trail down near the river. George is searching the other way. Major, really, there was, there was stuff. 
Oh, your cold book. I'll get it. Oh. 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 Major Marley. He must be somewhere at the top of the falls. Si, sí, señorita. made his escape with the goddess. We saw him headed downstream in a cayuca. Then I must hurry after him at once. What is this mango? Speak English. Black devil. Uh, take away. Mm, Senior Muslim. Senior George. Black devil? What do you mean? Yes. He means Queen Maya's monsters. The black robe emissaries of the high priest. Take your men and return to camp. And you? I'm going to try to pick up their trail. Then. Did he come, Senorita? No. We're heading for the dead city. If Tarzan loses their trail, we may be able to help. But, Senorita, those black devils... Never mind. Hurry up.
You are to be held as hostages for the safe return of the green goddess. You speak English. Who are you? Who am I? What does it matter? Once I was known in the world of science, but 20 years ago I cast my lot with these people, and I am content. <laughs> He demands to know where you have taken the green goddess. It was stolen and carried away by someone else. Someone not in our party. You must produce the goddess. If you fail, you die.
Grove. Simon Blade here? Yeah, on board the ship off Carib Point. Now listen, I'm being watched. I can't come aboard until dusk. I'll have a man signal you from the point. You understand? Aye, aye, sir. What do we do now? Crawl through here. When they come for me, we'll make a break for it. Keep up your nerve. Here they come. Green Goddess, nor do we know where it is. A fellow by the name of Raglan got it. And we don't know what he did with it. Wolf! What's he gonna do to me? That's why you can tell him nothing. Let them question me. without any casualties. Say, what would happen to Raglan if the monsters caught him with the goddess? I don't think they will, George. By now, Raglan's probably found a safe refuge. Don't give up hope, Major. We may yet catch Raglan. When I saw him heading downstream, I sent one of my men after him. He'll either return with news or send word. Look, someone's coming. It must be Lopez. Messenger, my man said he'd sent from Nantique. to be waiting for someone at Manteek. But whom, Jose does not yet know. Well, is Jose still watching Raglan? Oh, si, senor. And there's a strange sailing ship laying off the shore south of Manteek. And Jose thinks that possibly those whom Raglan's waiting for are on board that boat. I'd like to see that mysterious ship. The Cayuca won't carry all of us, so I'll cut through the jungle and meet you at Manteek.
hands off that goddess. It'll be the last time you meddle in my business. Well, you... Better get out of here. We have a car back on the road. Good. All right, now get my party together and be aboard within an hour. So. That'll be fine, Major. Without the goddess. And who's the bungler now? Well, mister, the contents, the jewels, and the formula are aboard this ship now. You mean that Markling has chartered this vessel? Exactly. You wanted to escape you? I made it my business to see that this was the only ship available. Blade, that's very clever. Very, very clever. Well, why not get what we want? Get rid of these people. Oh, oh no. You've made too many mistakes already. I'm running this from now on. I warned you. Uh, don't show that ugly mug on deck. I've put our best cabin at your disposal, Miss Vale. I hope you'll be comfortable. Thank you. I know I will be. It isn't often these days we have a lady aboard. I suppose not, Captain. I know you're going to have a very pleasant voyage. I'm sure of it. Now, Major, if you'll excuse me, I'll give orders to set sail. Linda. Well, homeward bound at last. <laughs> Blow up with your forks, ain't tough. Nice fellow, the captain. Very. The shade too nice. Break out, old man, mate! Oh, it's good. Go off, it together. Take off your hat, What? I won't. Oh, 
of you go quietly to your cabin. I'll remain on deck. I may learn something definite. Get some of the crew and get him out of here. Aye, aye, sir. Yes. Uh, partly. This is undoubtedly the formula. and seen that it's much too dangerous to be in anyone's hands. There was major...
Well, Eula, do you feel compensated for all your hardships now that the document is destroyed? More than compensated, Tarzan. Meeting and learning to know you is well worth any hardship. I'm the one who is grateful, Eula, for having met you. Then we both owe much to that little Larkin. We surely do.